Hi, this is Presh Talker. There's a math problem everyone is talking about, and I wanted to share my perspective. What is the correct answer to 6 squared divided by 2 parentheses 3 plus 4? Some people are saying you should focus on the 2 parentheses 3 part and evaluate 2 times 3 to get 6. Then evaluate 6 squared divided by 6, which is 6, and finally you need to add 4 to get an answer of 10. Other people are saying you should look at the expression from left to right. You first take 6 squared divided by 2. 6 squared is 36 divided by 2 is 18. Then multiply that by 3 to get 54. And finally, you should add 4 to get 58. So what's the correct answer? Is it 10 or 58? To settle the debate, let's look to the internet and see what we get when we search for this question. Wolfram Alpha is a great website to evaluate mathematical expressions. If we type in our question, we get the result of 58. We can also try searching for the expression in Google, and when we do that, Google Calculator also says the answer is 58. All right, that should settle the debate. Between these two interpretations of the problem, the answer of 58 is more consistent with the common customs of mathematical expressions. Just because the 2 and the 3 have a parentheses next to each other, doesn't mean we necessarily evaluate it first. That parentheses around the 3 is interpreted as a multiplication sign, and by the order of operations, it makes more sense to evaluate this from left to right. But if there's any debate, it's because the expression is written with an ambiguous meaning. Let me ask you a question. What's the correct meaning to the following sentence? I saw the man with binoculars. One person could look at this sentence and say, oh, this sentence means I saw the man with binoculars. That is, I was using binoculars to see the man. Another person could say, no, 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 this sentence means I saw the man with binoculars. You were actually looking at someone who had binoculars. So just as there are English expressions that can be interpreted in different ways, if you have parentheses, there are also mathematical expressions that can be ambiguous if you don't write them in a way that the reader can interpret them correctly. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google+, and Patreon. You can also catch me at Presh Talwalker on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and Pinterest. And you can also check out my books on math and game theory. There's a link in the video description. Thanks for watching.